All right, so we are in the third stanza, line eight. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord should not lack any good thing. All right, so that, that's, that's a power punch of information right there. Loaded information about um, a whole load of encouragement, you know, for the believer. So it says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And so it gives us a reference scripture um, to 1 Peter 2, 3. First Peter 2, 3, that says, And if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, if indeed that you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, and tasted that the Lord is gracious, now that one, First Peter gives us a reference scripture to Hebrews 6, 5. Hebrews 6, 5. That says, and have tasted the word of God and the powers of the age to come. And have tasted the word of God. All right. And so let's go up to four. It says, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. All right. And so the heavenly gift is almost like that, that, that manna that had come from heaven. And if we go to Exodus 33, uh, Exodus 16, 35, Exodus 16:33 that says and Moses said to Aaron take a pot and put an omer of manna in it and lay it up before the Lord to be kept for your generations all right and so it just like it just like that 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 heavenly gift that manna from heaven and then what about what Jesus has said you know you know all of these things dealing with hunger and food um Matthew 5:5 5, 5, the sermon on the mount Five six, blessed are those who, th who blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. All right. And so, what about Luke one fifty three? That says, he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Now check this out. Taste and see. Now going back to Psalm thirty four. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Why we have to do that? We just read about it. All right. Whenever you're hungry and you're thirsty, that water that you drink is so sweet because you're so thirsty. And if you're hungry, the first bite of that food is so good because you know all of that is going to help quench your thirst and quench your hunger. All right, and likewise, when we thirst and hunger for righteousness, that means thirsting and hunger, hunger for the word of God. And once we taste and feast off of his word, there's no way that we should want to go back. To what? You have tasted of the best thing. This is better than alcohol better than drugs all right and tasting all of the things of the world all right and when you get a taste of the word of god when you get a taste of god and taste and see that the lord is good and he's a good god because it doesn't matter what we have done in our lives okay he is faithful and just forgive us from that all right and that means that he is good and he is gracious all right 
Then it says, blessed is a man who trusts in him. Trust him. Nine, oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. There isn't. There's no lack to those who fear him. Ten, the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord should not lack any good thing. And so when we seek after the Lord, we seek in the things of God, there's, we're not going to have to lack. We're not going to be in want. And it gives us a uh, reference scripture to Psalm 84, 11. I'll read that and then we'll break. 84, 11, for the Lord is, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And he won't. You continue to do the things that are pleasing to God. He's not going to withhold anything for you or from you. I'll see you in the next segment.